Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Moving on to the fun part of it all, the Q&A session. I think a few days ago, I actually asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, which I have screenshotted. So let's start off. Sophia Anura. Hi, Nura. She asked, what do you think helped your channel grow the most? I think what helped grew my channel the most are the covers that I made. It's like, you guys really love my covers for some reason. I don't just cover any song. If you guys ask me to cover a song, I'd probably be like, eh. I cover songs that suit my voice. That way, it benefits me, and it benefits the listeners, and everyone's happy. Dilo Tiramisu asks, what's your favorite quote? There's this quote that says, if all you can do is breathe, then that's okay. You're doing your best so far. Some people forget that at the end of the day, you've been trying so hard. If the only thing you can do for that day is just sit, finish a few tasks, or just a simple task, just like showering or like making your bed, and that's all you can really do, then it's okay. You're doing your best. Don't push yourself. Next question. Faris Daniel asks, Hi Faris. What has the past relationship taught you? My past relationship has taught me a lot. I learned that I need to, you know, respect myself. Love myself more than I do for other people. And I need to find happiness within myself first before going into a relationship. If you go into a relationship seeking for happiness, then most times it's not going to end well. At the end of the day, the only person that's really there for you is yourself. My past relationship has made me the person I am today. Like, I wouldn't even be doing this YouTube thing with you guys if I didn't go into that relationship. Next question! Aina Razana, I'm guessing, asked, You study course output and mind sharing your journey. I'm currently on my final semester of diploma. I'm taking Diploma English Communication at College Professional Mara. I'm actually interning right now. I'm not in classes anymore and after I intern I will be graduating and then I'll be finishing diploma for good the journey is a bit long I can make like a separate video for that Leah style Leah style ask hi mahal ko sa buhay mahal ko sa buhay oh love of my life in Filipino okay cute ask what makes you feel alive Doing things that make me happy make me feel alive. Record YouTube videos and sing and write and watch YouTube videos and just do things that make me feel happy. Thank you for asking. Alia Diarna underscore asks, How would you describe your dream life? My dream life would just be to be happy, doing things that I love, with a family that's proud and I make a good amount of income. You don't really want to be stuck in something that you're not happy with for the rest of your life because you only have so much time for yourself. XTRS June asks, what's the biggest challenge that you had to go through during your diploma years? It was full of up and downs. It was a whole roller coaster. I met my ex there, so that itself was a whole roller coaster that I do not want to get into. Diploma wise, I think there was this one semester, I think it was semester four. It was just like so hard so tiring, so mentally exhausting. I finished that semester with a low GPA. That GPA brought down my entire CGPA because like for the first three semesters, um, I got like four flat for two semesters and for one semester, 3.89. I had really high targets for my CGPA. Masa semester four, it dragged my CGPA down. It was definitely a moment in time where I was like, I did so much, I put so much effort, I was tired, I I tried everything I could and then the end result was like not what I wanted and it just ruined everything for me. <laughs> so like overall my CGPA now is okay lah. After finishing intern, I hope that I'll be able to get the CGPA that I want. Okay, Dina Zuyin asks skincare routine. I actually uploaded already my skincare routine. You can check it out on my latest YouTube video. I think I'll, I'll put it here or somewhere. But yeah, you can check it out there. H Sha Stuff asks the birth gift you love the most. 
I remember this one birthday gift that my three friends gave my Dina and Danya, my best friends, ever since like I was 10 years old. They bought me a poem book. So it was a Lang Liev poem book. I love poem books but they're really expensive. So much like harga to jo puluh ringgit macam tu. I always nag them. I'm always like and then like one day they actually bought the book for me it's like when they buy you a gift it's already nice enough tapi when they give you a gift based on what they observe about you and what you like and your passion it's like the small things you're like ah oh, thank you thank you thank you i simpan sampai sekarang next izati sharin ask 100% brightness or 0% brightness it's a hundred percent. Like it's always a hundred percent. My roommates during my second college always get mad at me because when they turn off the lights, like my area of the room, macam bercahaya. My laptop is hundred percent. My phone is a hundred percent. I can't see if it's not a hundred percent. So, bukan salah saya. Amir J F F R asks, what's your comfort book? There's this book called The Nectar of Pain by Najwa Zebian. It's a poem book, but it's a poem book that helps you get through a really bad heartbreak. If you're going through heartbreak, you love poems, you love reading relatable stuff, then you can go buy The Nectar of Pain by Najwa Zebian. I bought it for 80 ringgit at Popular. Aman or Amin Kodin. I think which of your songs so far that bring out the most in you? I think the song that always like brings out the best in me is like At Ease because it's such a good comfort song. It's a song about comforting someone going through like mental illnesses or comforting someone who's going through a bad breakup, someone that feels insecure of themselves or comforting someone that just doesn't feel like it today at times when i feel like sad i listen to at ease just to remind myself that like i'm still here for me you know even if i'm going through it do you guys like that song too i like that song lagi tanya apa kirant underscore s can you tell me what's your first impression when people love your song i get all squealy i'm like Ooh, and then i get a bit embarrassed because then I realized, oh, people are really listening to my voice and my song. <laughs> Especially when people DM me and they're like, oh, I came from like the Reckless cover or I came from Tired of Us and I love your work. And I'm like, thank you. Inshira Fadli asks, favorite time of the day? My favorite time of the day starts at 10 up until like 2. Because by then, I dah masuk dalam bilik. No one's going to catch on me. The vibes are great. I turn on my my lamp. It's warm. It's orange. Listening to music, watching YouTube videos. I love it. I think everyone's favorite time of the day is like at night when tak ada orang kacau. I love it so much. Kaisha Karil asks, "How can you come up with such good poems?" Um, I've just really had an artistic passion for writing. Like, I love writing so much. It's such a good way to express your feelings. And the words that you use can be so pretty and poetic. It doesn't really have like a rule, a specific guideline that you have to follow. So whatever you want to write, even if the grammar is like upside down, like you can because it's a poem. It works that way. It's an art form. When you love something, you give your all to it. And when you give your all, it comes out beautifully. So I think that's what makes my poems good. <laughs> but I'm not sure, you know. Maybe I'm just, you know. Prasan, ko prasan kanya. Farah Amira asks, how and when did you become a K-pop stan? First of all, I don't think I'm a K-pop stan. I'm just a BTS stan. However, I do like listening to Blackpink from time to time. And I do stan the rose, which I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> R.I.P. The Rose. I started studying BTS back in 2000, uh, 2018, 2019. Barula, I haven't been standing for a long time. I remember going through Twitter and I saw this really fine picture of Pak Jimin. If I can find it, I'll put it here. That picture. Oof, and I was like, damn, 
maybe I am missing out. Maybe I do want to see what they're about. So then I started listening to a few songs and one thing led to another. Next thing I knew, I was watching BTS in America or Try Not To Laugh With BTS and stuff like that. Next question. This is such a good question. NRN Farisha asks, your all-time fave male lead K-dramas. I've been waiting for this moment. First on the list, Nam Joo Hyuk. He's so handsome. The second on the list is Ji Chang Woo. He's so handsome, bestie. And then obviously Pak So Joon. Uh, the one yang dalam strong girl, Da Bong Soon. Apa dalam dia? Ah, Pak Hyung Sik. Really, really handsome. I love them so so much. Okay. Next question is from Babul Rachman. He says, how to make a sweet and beautiful smile? The I actually have cracked the code for it. If you really want to have like a nice smile, you have to smile with your eyes too. Here's the difference. Okay, if you smile like this, it's okay, but it's not sweet. It's not cute. You have to be like, and then people are going to be like, ah! Um, Tal Talina asks, Do you want to try a new concept in music other than songs about relationships? Actually, yes. I'm kind of bored of it already. To be completely honest, that's why I haven't written a song in quite some time because I'm bored of writing about heartbreak. It's hard to sing about something that yeah, you're not feeling unless you're Taylor Swift, then you can do whatever the frick you want. I want to write a really really pop-ish vibe moving on song. I really want to like try like some kind of R&B type of stuff. Kehlani, Cezar kind of stuff. Khadija.n underscore says, please make a song using your subs followers comments. Would love to be featured in it. That's actually like a cool kind of thing to do. If only I was that creative, but maybe I will try to. It's not that hard. You can just play the the normal four chord, the normal four chords that people usually make for songs. Asila asks, "You're studying at KPMSI, right? What course did you take?" Yeah, KPMSI. So, course professional Mara Sidi Iskanda, and I'm taking again English communication. There's only two places that you can get. Uh, English communication. One is KPM Indra Makota, dekat Pahang, and one is KPM Sidi Iskanda, dekat Perak, Perak, atau Koma Perak. Tapi kita duduk dekat Sri Iskandar, kita suka je sebab Sri Iskandar tu ada semua benda. KFC, ada McD, ada pizza, ada Subway, ada cake, ada wayang, semua ada. So tak payah, tak payah jalan jauh lah nak, nak, asalkan nak makan McD kan. Natrahu, Natrahu as what's your favourite style dress up currently? I'm really into cute cottage core things. I love it so so much. I think it suits me the most. I've tried a, a few grunge e-girl type of stuff but I don't think it suits me that much. I really like white and flowers and macam kembang kembang. Macam ni kan? I really like that. Ayn Shakira asks, is there any new songs that's coming up? I have two covers that I will be posting. Uh, one of it is actually a duet with one of my friends, which is really cool because it's my first time ever doing like a duet. So I hope you guys really like it. But for original songs, I'm currently in the process of finishing a song that I wrote. Um, there's this other song that I also wrote about like some sad stuff, but I don't really think I'm gonna post that one. Zakwan443 asks, Who is that one strongest support system that made you who you are today? Uh, my friends, shout out to... Should I list them all right now? Shout out to Danya, Mai, Dina, uh, Bahira, Pika, Tira, Tini, Mirul, Pian, Intan, Tanish, Ojan. Shout out to my family, Ibu, Ayah, my annoying brother that has helped me so much actually in this whole process, um, Ajmal, and a lot of other people as well. Uh. Kisha Kila asks, How do you improve your vocal? I don't really know because I don't really take vocal lessons or anything like that but one thing that i have recently started doing is warming up before i sing i learned this from my company so i'm i'm working with a record label company right now they give like a lot of tips they share a lot of you know fun things for me as a songwriter myself and someone who just makes covers i do this warm-up on youtube it's a vocal warm-up so you go like me 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 stuff like that and after that, it's a lot easier to like start singing. It smoothens out your vocals and it's easier to 
reach high notes and low notes. The next question, a really, really scary question, is from Gugio. What a nice name. Says, do you believe in first love? I guess for some people it does. You can't really believe if it doesn't really happen to you, but doesn't mean it doesn't exist, you know. There's people that have their first love. For me, no. For other people, probably. Human Naku asks, how you can manage your time entire YouTube and your job? I'm interning right now, so I'm working actually um, every day during the weekdays. And then weekends, I go into content creating full blast. That's why during the weekdays, you don't see me at all. And then in the weekend, like I come back to life. I use this app called Trello. It's like just for organizing and stuff like that. And then if I want to do content and I put it in this week, what I have to do, what I have to record, what I have post, Stuff like that lah. Shazlin asks, what got you into poetry? I started writing poems at a really young age. I think I was five or six writing poetry already. I used to live in the UK and we learned literature as a subject on its own. So I was like really intrigued with the fact that I can rhyme words together and make this thing called a poem. My mom really likes it when I write poems. So, if my mom likes it, then I continue doing it lah. <laughs> MN Binny asks, what makes you happy the most right now is watching uh, Gabby Cook and her husband, Josh. I've been watching a lot of Korean Englishmen and it makes me really happy. Oh, and this silver button is making me really happy right now, in this moment. Hani Shahira. Gagaga, ga, ga. random, but what is your favorite instant noodle flavor? That is a really legit good question. Maggi curry. Oh, superior. That's that is superior. That is the best you can get for Maggi. Pas um, curry tom yum. The pas tom yum asam laksa, and then that's it. Oh, and if you guys ever tried macam Maggi pedas, pedas gila ka apa tak nama dia? Perisa tom yum. Oh, tu sumpah sedap. Sumpah sedap. KQSZ says, Do you into horror movies? Kalau tengok ramai-ramai, best lah. <laughs> Kalau tengok ramai-ramai, semua benda jadi best. I dulu masa dekat asrama, saya so tengok cerita hantu Thailand. Sumpah seram. Seram gila. Okay, last question of the day. What is the last question? Wow. Okay, the last question is gonna be from Far la. Fart Guff because Far is amazing. Dude, I swear to God, your songs are getting better, so I wanna know what have you learned so far in songwriting. Thank you, first of all, that is the best thing I've ever heard, the best compliment I've heard all day. I think what, what took a turn, a 180 degree turn, is one day I was going through Taylor Swift reactions, right? I decided to listen to the entire Folklore and Evermore album. When it came out last year, I didn't really pay much attention to it. I kind of grew out of Taylor Swift, like, I don't know, I just, I didn't feel like I wanted to listen to like all her new songs. Came across it like a few weeks ago. I listened to the entire thing, I analyzed all the lyrics, and I was like, damn, Taylor Swift writes the most amazing poetic, just like incredible lyrics ever. The gap is way too far. Like I, I just write simple lyrics about heartbreak and crying and Taylor Swift writes about rejecting a proposal and you know, killing a man. I want to get to that level and that's why my songs have like, you know, shifted a bit into something new. I'm really happy that you like it because like, it means you are aware of it, which is like, really cool. Storytelling for song writing or lyric writing is the biggest goal I'm trying to achieve right now. I want to be able to sing, but the lyrics are just like one big story leading up to something, always keeping everyone like on their tiptoes, like what's the next thing, what's the next thing. So um, those were all the questions asked for today. Thank you so much for everyone that asked. I really, 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 really appreciate it. I really do. And thank you for coming on this journey with me until I got 100,000 subscribers. Thank you for giving me this silver button. It's all because of you guys that I got this silver button with my name on it. 
and yeah i couldn't be more happier i will be posting a lot more content for you guys i have it all planned it's all in one big planner so don't worry <laughs> so thank you again i'm really happy it this this almost made me cry like i was gonna cry on camera but i didn't because i have a makeup on today Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. I hope um, if you have dreams, then you should chase them. If you have goals, then I hope you accomplish them. The only thing that I have to say is if you want to do something, do it with your heart and not for the money and not for the fame because it gets you a long way. Not quickly. It won't get you there quickly, but it will be genuine and you will appreciate it even more. And I just realized that I have been talking to this screen instead of the camera for the entire time. That's all for today! 